Hey everyone, Greg here. Today we are going to make some peanut butter cookies. I know everyone loves peanut butter cookies. Unless you don't like peanut butter or you've got an allergy to peanuts. But if that's not the case, how about we get started to make these delicious, super easy, creamy, buttery peanut butter cookies. This is Greg's Kitchen. Here's all the ingredients we'll be using. But first, let's turn on the oven. 190 degrees Celsius, which is 375 in a non-forced Fahrenheit oven. Now we'll need two separate bowls for this, so into the first bowl, let's add half a cup of your normal white sugar, half a cup of brown sugar. Make sure it's nicely tightly packed. I love packing it in. I've got half a cup of butter. This is salted butter. If it's not salted, add a little bit of salt as well. By the way, half a cup is about 115 grams worth. And we need half a cup of peanut butter. If I can get this out. Uh, how the, what, when, what the? I'll have to just spoon this into my measurement thing. And that's about half a cup there. So I'll just throw that in it. So I'll just throw that. Let me just throw that in it. Just, how the, just get in there, for God's sake, just. Actually, just throw in a little bit more than half the cup of peanut butter. It'll make all the difference in the world. And let's just mix this all together. So let's just pretend this is one of those cake mixing machines. Brrrr, turn it off. Okay, now once that's creamed nicely together, we'll just crack in one egg and We'll mix that in as well. I think my machine needs a bit of a tune up. Right, well, that looks like it's perfectly creamed. Have a look at that. So I'll move this to the side and I'll grab my other bowl and my sieve. So into here, we will add just over half a cup of, uh, what's this stuff called? Self-raising all-purpose flour and about three quarters of a teaspoon of baking powder. And we'll sift this into our bowl, which we will then pour into our mix here. And we'll just start blending this through. Adding it little by little. Brrrr. Oh, that's right, I've got some of this uh, vanilla essence. How about we just pour like a teaspoon of that in as well. And we'll burr this in. What you probably could do is just whack this in the fridge for about an hour. Just sort of let it set a bit. But I ain't got time for that, so let's start making them. Oh no. You're not gonna believe this, but I put in plain flour instead of self-raising all-purpose flour. So we'll see how they go anyway. Right, so let's grab our tray, which I've lined with some baking or parchment paper. We just need to start boiling this up into like little balls. I don't know how you're supposed to do that. So I'll just throw them on here like that. That'll be easier. Keep them fairly well separated though. So now once we've rolled those up in those pretty ball shapes. So now all we need to do is put this in our oven. It's preheated for about 10 to 12 minutes and we'll come back then. Or until the cookies begin to brown. Okay, well it's been about 12 minutes now, so let's get, whoa, they actually turned out. I can't wait to, oh you, whoa, dude. So let's whack these down here to cool down for a bit because I tell you what, they'll be as soft as, oh, as soft as that. So while they are soft, how about we grab some hundreds and thousand sprinkles and sprinkle them over the top. With any luck, they'll stick and that'll make these cookies even better. So we'll let these cool down and then we'll tuck on in for the old peanut butter cookie taste test. So I transferred these onto a uh, cooling rack here, which while I was doing that, of course, I, <laughs> I cracked some of the cookies. They're still a bit stuck together. They've been cooling down a bit, so I'll just grab a knife and I'll just cut along the lines. All right, well, there's those peanut butter cookies I just whipped up using plain flour instead of self-raising flour. <laughs> but they still seem to turn out all right. So, let's give it a go. Well, that's chewy, and crunchy, peanut buttery, and sugary. In fact, they're delicious. I really didn't think they were gonna turn out at all, 
and they did. If you do give them a go, I'd love to know how yours turns out. Thanks for watching. Remember to show this video some thumb and love. Check out all the links below. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time right here on Greg's Kitchen. <laughs> oh yeah, this is Greg's Kitchen.